Hello everyone, we are going to create NPT threads in SOLIDWORKS today. This is an example of the finished product, what it, uh, what it will look like. Size 2 inches NPT. We'll go ahead and create a new part. On the front plane, create a sketch and make uh, an extruded bar stock. Give it uh, 2.5 inches in diameter. and uh, 3 inches in length. Let's make the image quality a little bit better. This was the first step. There are two more steps left. The next step is to create a taper. Basically cut everything on outside, leaving just enough for the filling. So the next step is we'll uh, go ahead and create a closed contour which will revolve around this center line. Here is going to be our taper. The lines snap to each other, so they complete a closed contour. Make sure your center line is vertical snaps to the middle point of the bus stock. Blue line needs to become black. Let's snap it to the profile by making them collinear. Black is on the money. Black is good. Blue means undefined. You don't want undefined lines in your sketch. Make them defined. So let's make the um, heights of the undercut half an inch. This is the cylindrical portion of the taper. It has to match the nominal diameter of the NPT thread. This is size 2 inch and we're looking at OD of the pipe which is this dimension over here of 2.375 2.375 and now let's go ahead and create the angle for the taper. It's defined as arc tangent of 1 over 16 it's actually 1 over 16 if I were to draw two lines like this complete it with a triangle give it the length of 1, let's divide it by 10. This 16 divided by 10, 1.6. So we have 1 over 16. If we were to measure this angle, it's driven, give it 4 decimal points, you can see that this angle and this angle, let's make this also 4 decimal points, boom. You can see that they are the same. Let's delete this. So again, this taper is arc tangent of 1 over 16. However, let's delete this. We don't need this anymore. However, this taper is on the diameter. We are making this on a radius. So uh, let's define, let's divide this by 2. Define this taper as arc tangent of 1 over 16 divided by 2 per side. That's per side. And we're going to give the length of the threads, of the threaded portion, 0.7. And the length of the cylindrical nominal diameter of 100 thousandths. Let's give it a nice little fillet over here, about a millimeter. It's a nice undercut. Now we've created a close contour. Let's revolve it around the center line. Choose the sketch, insert, cut, revolve. Let's make it visible. So step two, we've created the taper. The last step is to create the actual threads in this tapered portion of the, uh, of the fitting. We'll go ahead and create the closed profile 
for the cutter tool triangle make sure that this line and this line are equal so I click on this line hold the control key and click on this line and here you have this window menu showing up line 1 line 2 are selected make them equal and click the check mark now they're equal let's go ahead and create a center line and let's insert a point in the middle of this line this point is going to define our pitch diameter our pitch diameter pitch diameter of at the beginning of external thread which is this dimension right here 2.26902 let's go ahead and define it this is going to be our pitch diameter at the beginning of threads 2.26902 move this out of the way and let's go ahead and create the actual closed contour with solid lines we'll overlay the construction lines with solid lines this is this triangle actually simulates the tool the cutter that will come in and cut into the taper the root length will give it an equation is 1 over 11.5 over 8 it's basically pitch over 8 1 over 11.5 is the pitch and the root this length is pitch over 8 always over 8 in external threads which is what these are let's go ahead and create OK so we've defined this length we've defined the pitch diameter we've defined this angle 60 degrees and the last step is to define the heights of your thread from root to crest this is also a book value for size 2 inch NPT heights of threads is defined this letter H it's 06957 let's enter it 0 6 9 5 7 all right now the next step is to so we've defined the heights the pitch the angle made this line and this line equal to each other define the length of the root and let's snap this point to the contour of the metal snap now as you can see it's all black remember black is good everything is defined in this close contour we've defined we've simulated the end of the current tool this is what it's going to look like when it makes threads this is our closed profile and then the next step is to create a helix feature the guide for this contour to make a cut so we'll select this surface and convert sharp edges which is this edge into a sketch let's go ahead and create a sketch convert entities let's make the part visible you see only one line is really dark black this which basically is the intersection of this surface and this flat surface cylindrical tapered surface and this flat surface creating this solid line and then we can go ahead and create a helix a spiral or, or a helix you can also let's close the sketch so we have the sketch we create a helix I already have this selected here but you could go to insert curve helix make sure that you have pitch and revolution selected the definition for the helix pitch and revolution constant pitch and for the pitch what you're gonna enter is 
threads per inch which is 11.5 it's 1 over threads per inch or you could enter this number but it's kind of easier to enter 11.5 so what we'll do is enter 1 over 11.5 then we'll enter 8.7 revolutions and we'll start at this angle and we'll make sure that this box is checked off it's a tapered helix tapered outward we'll enter the angle we calculated in the previous step 1.7882 taper it outward let's make all this visible view visible you can see that the taper and the helix they follow each other hide all the last step is to create the actual cut so we go ahead and insert a sweep cut this is UNPT taper very precise to the book it will meet the standard if you make it like this let's uh, do a little thread relief insert a sketch here convert all edges into hard lines insert a sketch convert all edges into hard lines and go to features and extrude through all not blind we're going to make an extruded cut through everything which will clean up our part and create this relief for the threads and uh, you're almost done one thing that uh, I would recommend to do is to add um, an entry chamfer at this point this will go to your minor diameter on the threads this, this nice little chamfer for the thread to enter and this relief for the thread to end this concludes this presentation and uh, thank you for watching